Good morning, good morning. Okay guys, so I am in Hey Riyadh and I am gonna be going to Electro Planet. Jack needs new headphones and I need a new, um, not a new, I need storage for like outside my phone. Like, um, what do you call it? External storage or whatever. So I need one of them. But along with going to get them, I figured let me tell you the story of why a Moroccan owns my car. All right, so I moved here from America last year, June, and I did the whole taxi and drive for like a good three months. I knew I wanted to buy a car. Like, I have been driving my whole life. I'm very used to having a car and I'm not used to having to take it like public transportation. So, in September of last year, I decided I'm buying a car. I did some looking around for used cars, but to be honest, when you really think about it, do I wanna do a used car in a foreign country where I don't already know anything about cars, but also like, um, I don't know the best mechanic, I don't know foreign cars. So I thought, let me look into buying a brand new car and seeing what I could, like what was the cheapest brand new car I could get, but that was still a decent car. So I decided to look at Dacia. Dacia is a Moroccan brand. Um, I feel like Dacias are everywhere in Morocco. And I went to Dacia on a Friday. <clears throat> this was in September. And I found the car I wanted. Uh, it was automatic. I don't drive stick, guys. There are a lot of people in America that drive stick. I am not one of them. I'm definitely not one of them. So I got an automatic Dacia Logan 2023. Everything was great. We filled out all the paperwork. The guy took me to the bank to do the transfer of the money. Uh, the money, the transfer, the amount of the car was 170,000 dirhams, which is approximately 17,000 US dollars. And I'm sorry, but 17,000 US dollars for a brand new car is not happening in America right now. And this is a four-door car for those that don't know Dacia. It's a four-door car. It does have automatic windows. It has a backup camera. It has like the little dash thing, you know, with the music and all that stuff. It's a nice car. I like it. I will, I won't lie. I do miss, I do miss my SUV, but I do like it. I do like it. Um, but anyway, so I, I do the Dacia thing. I sign all the paperwork. I transfer the money. This was on a Friday right you ready to hear what happens guys it only happens to me i promise you i have the worst luck in in, in like ever he tells me to come pick, pick it up on tuesday morning i go on tuesday morning and he tells me you can't own a car i'm like what he's like you cannot own a car and i'm shocked i'm absolutely shocked and I'm going to finish the story, but let's go into Electro Planet real quick and go get some headphones for Jack. All right, guys, we're coming up on Electro Planet. So Electro Planet, I guess if I had to say it was like what American store, I would say it was um, like Best Buy, Best Buy for sure. All right, guys, so I just went into Electro Planet, but unfortunately I could not film because they had music playing so loud that if I posted it, the video on YouTube, it would have gotten blocked or like copyrighted or something. And I am not having my vlogs copyrighted for some music in a store. We're not having that. Um, but anyway, I will show you the headphones I got him. They did not have the external sur um, storage. They told me to try Virgin, which is down the street, so I might try them. Um, but these are the headphones that I got him. Let's see. Right. So these are the ones I got him. The guy told me that the brand I was going to get, I asked him what the difference between the one I was getting and this one. He told me this was a well-known, much well-known, better-made headphone. So, Jack, please, please, do take care of these. These were 689 dirhams, which is approximately $68. Jack, I swear if you break these... I'm gonna beat your butt in Morocco. It's gonna happen, it's gonna happen, dude. I know you're gonna watch this and you're gonna be embarrassed, but 689 dirhams, take care of them. All right, guys, let me finish telling you a story about why a Moroccan owns my car. 
Okay, so like I said, I bought the car. The transaction was on a Friday. He told me to come back on a Tuesday, pick up my car. I go in. I go in all excited to pick up my car. And he says, I have bad news. You can't own your car. And I'm like, what? What? Oh, guys, by the way, they have Pizza Hut in America. I mean, in Morocco. And the Pizza Hut in Morocco is so much better than the one in America. Not going to lie. All right, so back to my story. So... I tell the guy, he tells me, you can't own the car because you're not a resident. I said, what? Now listen, the guy never asked me if I was a resident. I told him I moved from America. He spoke English, by the way. Uh, I told him I, I moved from America. I live here now. He never asked me if I was a resident. I assumed he knew that I wasn't a resident or he would have asked me and he would have known that I wasn't a resident. Because residents, if you're not a resident of the country, you cannot own a car. So here's what happened. I had to have a friend who is Moroccan. I know the family from America. So this is a family that I know from America. And um, I had to have the car put in his name. And it was like this whole ordeal because basically the car is in his name. However, we got like this legal document drawn up that dossier like that told us to do this and it basically says that the car is mine uh it's just technically in his name until i get residency now i also had to get insurance now i i was able to get insurance but i had to also add him to the insurance because obviously the car is in his name so now what you might be surprised to know is even though i had to add a second person to my insurance i still I'm only paying around 4,500 dirhams a year for my insurance, which equals to about $450 US dollars. Now, if you're in America, you know how much you're paying for insurance. Insurance is one of the most expensive expenses that you have to have in America if you drive. Also health insurance too. But car insurance is ridiculously expensive in America. Um, and I am so excited that I moved to a country and the the insurance is so much, so much cheaper. And I don't even have, um, I have full coverage. I have tour, tourist insurance. I don't think it's called tourist insurance. It's something French word. And basically this insurance is like the best insurance you can have. It covers everything. And I'm literally paying pennies, guys. Pennies compared to America. So... Yeah, Morocco for the win for car insurance. They're just not for the win for knowing that uh, they should have known that I wasn't a resident or asked me and we wouldn't have had the problem. But yeah, so that is why a Moroccan technically owns my car. All right, guys, I wanna tell you a reason why I love Morocco. I feel like I could tell you guys every day why I love Morocco. But here is something that just happened and literally it's why I like one of the reasons. So I went outside the Marjan to get a cart because I decided let's just get some stuff. So I needed a cart and there was a cart next to a guy. And I said, Safi, like I could have it because he wasn't using it. He said, sure, sure. I go to get it and it's not good. It's not a good cart. That's why it was left there. The guy said, wait. He doesn't work here, by the way. He's not a, an employee. He's just somebody that was standing out there. And he literally went and got me a cart. Guys, this stuff does not happen in America. Maybe 20, 30 years ago it would have, but the kindness of the strangers in Morocco literally just blows me away every day. Every day I see an example of how kind you guys are. And it just, it literally makes me so happy to be living here. Like seriously. All right, guys, let's go check out some Marjan and see what I'm gonna buy now. All right, guys, I went to go get some clothes for Cameron and I left my cart and now somebody took my cart. But can I just tell you what just happened again, which is amazing? All right, I tell guys all the time, if you see me and you wanna say hi, please say hi. Like, it's so cool to say hi, like to meet people that follow me. It's really, really fun. And I was just walking and this woman just says out of the blue, hey, Aaron, and I'm like, Oh my God, do I know her? Cause I like, I couldn't, I was drawing a blank. Do I know this lady? I was like, oh, do I know you? She's like, no, no, I follow you. Layla, shout out to Layla. She was so nice. She did exactly what I hope people do. She literally just came up to me, said hello. And I met her. She's great English, by the way. Um, it's so amazing to meet the people that follow me. And ooh, I'm so sorry, Spahalia. 
and you know it was really really nice but now i gotta go find a new cart because my cart got taken all right security gave me his cart i'm telling you guys the people of morocco are so kind and it just makes me so so happy to live here all right let's check out some marjan and get something for dinner Again, guys, I will continuously praise Morocco's supermarkets. Morocco's supermarkets are out of this world. I will never, never get over how amazingly stocked and perfect. It literally is so pleasing for the eyes. I've got to get my body wash. Uh, I really like the Dove. So I think I'm going to get the Dove. This one. 52 dirhams, which is approximately $5 in American US dollars. And you know, guys, in America, this stuff costs like $8. So it's definitely cheaper in Morocco. Okay, guys, in America, Nivea. Nivea is very popular, but can we take a moment to see how much these cost in Morocco? You guys, you're only getting this price in America on sale, on sale. Like, crazy 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 prices 29 dirhams which is approximately like a little less than three dollars we both need toothpaste so we're gonna get cameron some barbie toothpaste jack will have to deal with it i got him a boys one last time all right let's go get something for dinner Enough shopping for clothes for Cameron. All right, guys, I have a question. Why do they make all these bagged cheeses of all these cheeses, right? Bagged in a bag. But the cheddar, they only make it in this. It's not very practical to open up and store, but they make all these other ones in a bag, but they don't make it for cheddar. And cheddar is the one we use the most. And I feel like cheddar is not the most popular here. You guys use a lot of Adam and uh, ones like that, but we like the cheddar and it doesn't come in a bag. Like if it came in a big bag like this, my day would be made guys, my day would be made. I have no idea, guys, what to get for dinner, what to make for dinner. What do I make for iftar? Okay, we don't like this, but the dogs like this. Maybe I'll make... Maybe I'll make a beef stir fry. You know what? I'm going to make a beef stir fry. $2.70. We'll get beef stir fry and we'll get some vegetables and rice. All right, guys, I am done my shopping. I got some beef stir fry meat to make stir fry tonight. Uh, basically, that is like, it's beef strips. You, I make some broccoli, some peppers, maybe some mushrooms, and you put it over rice and you got yourself a little Asian stir fry. So that's what we're gonna have for iftar tonight. And now I'm gonna go home because apparently my landlord called me and said he's got the thing to fix our solution for our internet. If you guys don't know, if you didn't watch my live yesterday, our internet is amazing, except for Jack when he games. I don't know, but he complains, he screams, he yells like a little bratty American. And, uh, but my landlord, like the G he is, came through and he's got something that's gonna literally solve our problems, he says. So I'm gonna go home and we're gonna deal with that. All right, guys.